Hey, look. Welcome to this. Welcome to this story time. You want to know about me? I'm a YouTuber. I'm an artist. I'm an author. And now I'm this. Story time. Enjoy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm that dude, your host, hmm. your brother in need at the moment. Dysfunctional. This. Um, I know I've been missing my story times, and I know y'all love them, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna make one right now. This is story time officially. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but uh, let's get into it. So, most of y'all that's been been subscribers for a while. Know my story, know my know my my problematic. If you reached out and bought the book, it's on Amazon. It's on Kindle. Check it out, or contact me and get a direct copy mailed to you. Um, I am an open book for most for the most part. So, in my life, I've met maybe ten aggressive women that approached me first. And it went well. It, it didn't. It didn't scare me. It didn't shy me off. It didn't make me want to retreat. It. It actually was a little easier to navigate because I didn't have to try so hard. Now, the problem with that is it's all good in the beginning, but for whatever reason, a lot of my relationships end. Be it my fault, be it their fault, be it us. I don't know. So, I guess I'm trying to be a better me and not cause things to happen to me or against me or whatever. But, sometimes I think that maybe the love that I have or the love that I give it's so overbearing that it causes people to change who they are to love me. And I don't know if that's a good thing anymore. Um, I say this to say, I've heard this numerous times that a woman loved me and she was out of her character. She wasn't feeling like she was her yet or her again. So when we break up, she becomes her again. I'm wondering, do anybody else have those, 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 those symptoms, those, I, I don't know what to call it. I don't know if it's suggestive thinking. I don't know what it is, but do any of y'all subscribers, male, female, have this thing about you that when people fall in love with you, they lose them loving you? And if you do, how do you deal with that? How do you, is, is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? How do you fix it? How do you control it? I need help with that. I need help with don't stop loving you to love me. That's what I'm going to call it. Don't stop loving you to love me. Because, I mean, ever since I've got to the point where I love me, I don't stop loving me to do you. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm naturally... Uh, I'm naturally a giving person. I'm a giver. I'm not a taker. I'm not a negotiator. Most part, I just give. I give and I give. And then on the flip side, like I got told recently, I, I try to do me on the side, I guess, and make it seem like it's okay. But for the most part, I don't do that anymore. I don't navigate myself where I have you and then I need to have her, or her, and her, and her, or them, and tell you that you can't have him, him, and him. I, I don't do that. Um, if a woman wants an open relationship, and I love her, I give it to her. You know what I'm saying? I, I give her whatever she wants if I love her. But, like I said, I think, I, like, and I don't, I don't know, so that's why I'm asking. Is it a problem if you fall in love with somebody and you stop being who you are to love them? What does that mean? What does that say about that person? What does it say about you? 
Um, it's it's kind of I'm not gonna say it's scary, but I don't understand it. I don't know if that means I, I require too much love or that I'm doing something that I shouldn't be doing. I I don't know how to take that. So I can't tell you how to navigate that. That's what I'm asking. From me to y'all. I need y'all to tell me what that what that is. I, I hope I hope it's not manipulation. Because I don't think I manipulate people to love me. I just be open and real and I give love so love comes back. But like I said I don't know why at this point in my life people are telling me that they stop being them to love me. Like, I mean, I just had one conversation with an ex and she told me she stopped being her because she was trying to fix me at the time. Like she was too busy trying to lift me up and fix me. So she lost herself. Am I a project? Like, I know people say I'm addicted to these women that are projects, but am I a project too? Do do I need fixing? I might have back then. I don't think I do now, but my question, am I a project? Hmm. Please, this needs answers. So with that being said, I think I might be a project. Wow. That's some new revelation. I never thought about it like that. That I might be a project. Hmm. Now I'm really confused. Now I really don't know how to how to take the fact that people stop being them to love me. Don't stop being you to love me. Don't stop being you to love me. Hey, listen to those words. If you're in that situation that you love someone, but you've changed yourself because you do love someone and you don't feel like it was a good change or that it was a healthy change or that it benefited you changing, don't stop being you to love someone else. Yeah. Well, this should do. Your, your boy, your host, dysfunctional, dysfunctional world. Peace.